Now for the real item. Hey, what's up you guys? Jack Jack here. So today we are unboxing Wire Strike Pack Eliminator by Collective Minds. This here, uh, it's a new addition to Collective Minds and uh, how this works is actually an attachment to your Xbox One controller. And what you can do with this, there's actually mods that are uh, pre-built on this device here. But the main reason why I actually have this is because there are four buttons right in the very back of the controller. Once you hook it up to your controller, these buttons here act as, you know, paddles. But in this case, it's, it's buttons. So everyone knows about the Elite controller. Some people have heard about the Scuff controller and those are pretty pricey. Now, this is like an alternative. There's actually something else that I've used. It's actually called the Dominator. You can see right here, this is a Collective Minds Dominator mod pack, and uh, it acts the same, but this one here is a little bit older. It's an older edition. This new one here actually came out sometime around November this year, 2019. So with these four buttons, you can actually rebind the buttons to any button on your controller. So for your controller here, once you connect it to the very back, you can actually click on the back buttons to uh, activate any button you like from your controller. So for example, if you wanna you know, click on the X button, you can actually have a paddle in the very back of the controller and you can click on that and it'll act as if you're clicking on the X button. So you're able to stick your right thumb on the right analog stick without actually moving over the click on the X button. Most of the pros, so the majority of the pros, I'm pretty sure they use Elite controllers, they use their scuff controllers. Here we go, we're gonna open this, see what's inside it. First time opening it. All right. So, so far, you know, the box itself is pretty solid. Yeah, it's pretty legit. Like, it's a solid box. I'm glad they, they didn't cheap us out with a cheap box. With the box, uh, what does this say? There is no need to go back to the store. We can help. Simply reach out to support at collectiveminds.ca. Questions, answers are available online at collectiveminds.ca where you can call live chat with support. Need more help at CM than uh, Collective Minds Gaming. I guess Collective Minds is just mentioning that you can get some support, you can get some help if anything does go around with the product. I don't know how true that is. All right, so now here is the product, the Collective Minds Eliminator Mod Pack. All right, it's okay. It, it reminds me of the old one, so the old one over here, I think the new one might be better because it's four, it's four buttons. Also, it's buttons instead of these paddles that are in the very back of the controller. This attachment here from a Collective Minds is a lot cheaper than uh, you know the Elite controller and the Scuff controllers out there. And uh, this is just a small alternative attachment to your original Xbox, so you can save some money. Uh, the buttons itself, it does feel hollow. The whole piece is plastic is unfortunate I would like like a, a metal piece but I guess for the price it makes sense like it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break or anything if you're responsible you should be fine so we're gonna talk about this in a second we're gonna go back to the box there should be a cable in here open this up so there is the cable I think this cable is better than the old cable I got from uh, the dominator set mod pass what is this all right mod pass wonder what this is. Mod Pass. Upgrade your strike pack. More ways to customize your strike pack. Subscribe today at modpass.ca. All right, I'm probably gonna eventually look into this later. Uh, we'll see. And we have a booklet for the product. Probably instructions. With this mod pack, you can actually have mods to your controller. There is a chance for some games you'll get banned if you use it. So I personally don't use it. I just use the the paddles and the extra buttons, which is really nice. It's very general. You always have that in uh, products. All right, so those are the papers. Now we'll go back into the product itself. So here is the cable for the Eliminator. Uh, really nice, they, they added some Velcro so you can wrap it together, which is a good feature. This should be 10 feet, 10 feet wired cable. The only 
way you can actually use this uh, product is if you have it wired. Unfortunate, but uh, I don't mind it. I'm usually really close to my Xbox. But yeah, this here got uh, some fabric around the cable, which is nice. I could tell that uh, this cable is a lot better than the previous cable. With the previous cable, with uh, this product over here, the Dominator cable itself, really good quality cable, I like it. The mod pack itself. We'll see how well it plays out and see if it's better than uh, the Dominator. It should be. Wouldn't be surprised if it's better. But when I did start using the Dominator, I did notice my first, I guess, two weeks of playing on this. It felt really, really awkward, but I eventually got used to it. And then my fingers just kind of got used to it. I think this will be a little bit more natural because your, your fingers will already be down below here and you're able to click on it. But yeah, we'll, we'll test it out. We're actually connected to this Xbox controller right here. So you go ahead, take this off, and uh, you should be able to just go ahead and plug that. Okay, so it's a, it's a tight squeeze. It doesn't, it doesn't just slide in, you gotta like squeeze it in. That feels really good actually. Yeah, that's really good, I really like it. And the four buttons up top here, this is actually how you remap buttons for uh, down here. They specifically set for every four buttons that are down here. So for example, if I wanna reset uh, button four, which is down here, I go ahead and I hold on this button and then I turn over the controller and it, whatever button I want that to be, for example, A, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Then I let go of the back button and now it is set to A. And that is how you map the buttons for your controller. So lastly, you put this in here like so, and now it's fully connected. And you go ahead and connect their cable to your Xbox and to the very back right here. Now, when you have that done, you're good to go. You naturally, you know, set down your fingers behind the controller and it's already at the buttons, which is nice. We're gonna go ahead and try it in a game and I'll let you guys know how it is. Alright guys, so I went ahead and played for a few hours playing Battlefield and a few other games and uh, I can say it does feel good and it seemed a lot easier for me to get used to the new buttons compared to the paddles from the Dominator. Feels a lot more natural. I've only been using two buttons so far. I've been using a A button and a X button for uh, jump and the reload and it does what it's supposed to do. It's really convenient to actually just reload and jump without moving your thumbs and so far it's been holding up i don't see any issues with the strike pack so far the cable has a lot more quality than the dominators cable and so far i'm pretty happy with the product so fingers crossed this product lasts for a very long time again this product's a lot cheaper than the scuff and the elite controller and it's a good addition to your controller it simply adds more buttons to your controller so right away what i notice is these two fingers right here are naturally hovering right over these two buttons so they're just right over it and it's really easy to click on. Maybe it's a little bit different if you got really big fingers or really small fingers. This is my very first time making a product opening video and uh, hopefully I didn't do too bad. Let me know in the comments how I did. Let me know if this was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one.